Hurricanes, earthquakes, forest fires, hurricanes again. Long ago, the four natural disasters lived in different fucking states. Then everything changed when it all happened in California for some reason. Pretty much, yeah. You guys, you guys, like you hogged so many things in the past, and now we're like, okay, we'll hog this too. Take all the weather, yeah. all of it. All you guys need is a little snow. I feel like if you got a little snow, maybe some well, hail. Hail during a rainstorm that would work. Yeah, I mean it snows in Nortel. Anyway, uh, <laughs> welcome to Generation Dan, the podcast about generational differences. We're mm-hmm. recording this in the middle of a hurricane in California. Uh, I'm Atlas Novak. I'm your millennial. Who else is with me? I'm Dino the Genetic Marvel. I'm the old uh, judgmental bastard who's here. And uh, I look forward to making fun of the fact that it's not a hurricane. It's just some strong wind. Maybe somebody farted. I don't think it's that big of a deal over there. But, you know, you guys keep on making it all about you. Our uh, our, our guest today, she is the uh, proprietor, owner, and a fantastic comedian in and of herself. It's Raven Frazier, everybody. How are you? Good, thank you. And it's a tropical storm. <laughs> and are you drinking? Storm. Oh, I thought you were drinking a cup of milk. I was like, mm-hmm. holy no. shit. It's water. It's water. No. <laughs> no. What's wrong no. with him? Yeah. I like to have skim milk. His bones are no. yeah. <laughs> He's falling apart in the uh, seams. Yeah. Now, like, I, I'm, I'm house sitting for my mom, and she just, she doesn't really keep any food around for the most point part. It's like milk and bread. Yeah, literally milk, bread, and a thing of like Fiji water in the door. What are you supposed to do during a tropical storm like this? Well, she lives next to the Trader Joe's, so I just like took a walk down there yesterday when I showed up. And you can like row your boat down there. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Rented a jet ski. It's going great. I have a question. It's not yeah. real milk though, right? Like it's milk from some sort of oh, nut no. orbit. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no. Okay, let's let's. Yeah. You let's it. let's let's not mix words okay come on let's... there's so many milks now mm-hmm. milk is fucking they're, they're not milk though come on yeah but see cow milk's gross anyways because we're the only only species that drinks milk from another animal that's not its mother it's fucking weird Delicious. we should not be drinking cow milk you it's know what's even so crazier bad. is that it's not just cow milk we drink goat milk too like it, it, it's yep. fucking it's all also over the place. not yeah. just milk there's mucus that comes mm-hmm. out of the teat as well it's actually super fucking disgusting you know i learned recently that uh a lot of the times that uh you know how you can buy pre-made chocolate milk like it's already chocolatey right, right reason right. for that is most often a batch had blood in it which does happen with milk so they'll diet they'll they'll just make a chocolate milk because that makes it easier and i'm like Oh, you no. bastard. Oh, no. I can never drink chocolate milk again. Yeah, I stopped buying it too. And I'm like, ah, Jeez, I don't really drink milk Christ. in general. But yeah. Uh, ah. Back to Nesquik for this man. This is that's uh, fucking disgusting. Yeah. What, I wonder Nesquik? what's in the strawberry Nesquik then. <laughs> oh, come on. They, they, milk, they milk the strawberries for that milk. Just, just like straight semen in that. <laughs> Have you tasted strawberry milk? It probably is. Let's be honest. No, but it tastes a lot of semen. <laughs> well, should compare notes. I don't know. That's... What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> Joey's in the comments. Hey, Joey. Looks like a hurricane took out the internet. I hope everyone is dry. Uh, well, listen, after that comment, not anymore. But that's... Oh, yeah. Uh, fair warning. If this stream cuts out randomly, that's why. Because the pa- some power line went down somewhere. going to be the genetic marvels time to shine because my yes. internet is fine. That's... Oh, that's right. So if me or Raven disappears, then you'll know why. Yeah. It's not going to happen, though. The news yeah. is like, this is a life or death situation. No. And I'm like, I think it's like, right? like, it's like when it snows in Texas and they're like, up to yeah. an inch of snow is headed in your direction. You're advised to hoard. Like, just, it, it's just to be yeah. like, because most people don't listen anyway, it, like, in case it does, right? Yeah. No, like, We're, like look, in 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 Athens, the same thing. There was snow, and they're like, "Oh, there's a little bit of snow." Yeah, everything shut down. Everyone take the day off. Why? Because Greeks look for an opportunity to have a day off. That's just that's really part of the culture. Oh, I want it's a crazy. Day off. I moved here from Australia a couple of years ago. Wow. And when people call this a storm, I'm just like, mm-hmm. "No, this is not a storm." <laughs> no, 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 not at all. If you don't have snakes coming up through your toilet, it's not a storm. 
Right. Like we were, uh, my wife and I went to Hong Kong years ago and we were, we went up to the Victoria peak, which is the high peak and everything. There's a whole bunch of stuff and touristy stuff. And Roll there was right? like, well, there like, was, it was like a monsoon season. And they're like, ah, there's going to be a strong wind. I'm like, guy, I would. Oh, no, no, no. I more mean that you and your wife, Victoria, went up to Victoria peak. That must've just been real fun. Oh yeah, she rubs that stuff in my face all the time. We went to oh, England yeah. and she's like, Oh yeah, I'm named after the queen. I'm like, you know what? She was born in the UK. It's fine. She just rubs it in my face. But yeah, in, in Victoria uh, Peak, you're like, I could lean at a 45 degree angle without problem. And they're like, it's just a bit windy. I'm like, thank you. See, come on. Let's be reasonable, people. It's not a hurricane, just a little bit of wind. But hey, so what are we talking about today? Um, I went and saw the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie because uh, Katie yeah. and her uh, wanted to take her nephews to go see it. And she's like, you're doing this. I'm like, oh, fun. Yeah. So I, I assumed it was going to be like some garbage kids movie, number 27 or whatever the thing is. Of it's course. really good. It's yeah. a good movie. Are you going to go see the Barbie movie next? Already seen it. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Got yeah. it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Katie dragged uh, dragged me to see that too, but like I knew it was kind of part of the dragged. meme with the with the Oppenheimer yeah. stuff. So dragged. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we both know. Don't lie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was like, "When are we gonna go see it?" <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. I was more excited to see Oppenheimer, and then I, of course it's it's just like, oh, I don't feel like spending three hours on it. Oppenheimer is is it's. It's a long movie and it's it's kind of heart wrenching because the guy just gets torn apart by people, right? And you're like, his whole life is put on display, and you're like, oh, this is this is very sad and horrible. Oh, but ruin it. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen. I'm not gonna see Barbie or Ninja Turtles, but don't ruin Oppenheimer for me. Why aren't you gonna see Barbie? May I know? Oh, because I'm I'm a grown ass adult. That's fair. That's a good. <laughs> that's a reason. That's, no, that's fine. That's a that's a totally reasonable. I strike you as like a Barbie person. But... I mean, like I don't know anymore. That's I'm yeah. I'm old. I, everything could be. Half also, the men I know like, are Barbie men. I really don't like movie theaters. So uh, okay. Yeah, I was really upset that Oppenheimer you couldn't stream it from home. That was a great thing during COVID. You could just like watch movies yeah. from home. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So I'm not going to see it until it comes out because I just won't go to a movie theater. That's What's fine. the the problem you have with movie theaters, like as a concept? Um, several. There's there's several things wrong with it. One, I don't like sharing my space with strangers. Oh yeah. I also hate listening to people eat, which is inevitable in a movie theater. Also fair. It is very cold, and the cold will constrict your bladder, which is why you always have to pee at the best parts. But the Fair most enough. important reason why I hate movie theaters is they are not fucking safe. If, if you were in a movie theater and someone decided to come in with a gun, you are fucked. We learned that with Aurora. Huh. I'm also, I work in homicide um, outside oh. of the club, you know? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, okay. That's, uh, that, yeah. that makes so, a lot more sense. I was like, that's a Everything I do, thing. I'm yeah. rationalizing, like, the safety, what could go wrong, where's my way out. And movie yeah. theaters are just, like, elevators. You're trapped. There's nothing you can do. That's true. That's, yeah. Listen, in all honesty, that was the best part about COVID was everyone learned to live at home. And you're like, oh, I never have to leave. I can I can just have everything delivered. They can leave it outside. And then once they're gone, I'll just take it like, a, like I'm, you know, in a cave. It's okay. fine. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's at the same Love time, uh, you know, everyone, uh, the people who are like, I hate my house. You're like, that's your own problem, bro. That's that is that is your family, your children. You did all of that to yourself. So suck mm -hmm. it. I hate your house, too. And I'm glad I don't have to go there now. It, whoa, come on. Am I? I mean, it could have been like for people living, you know, I feel feel the worst for the people who were in school during COVID, because not only are you stuck. I in was. With your family, I, was I mean, like to bed during COVID, it was horrible. I mean, like high school, like okay, and then you miss like prom or whatever, and then they're like, "We're not gonna, we're, we're not gonna do that." Times pass by, have, have fun at college. True. I mean, I feel more. A lot of kids miss out on prom. I mm -hmm. feel more bad for the kids that were in their like developmental stages, like mm, say, yeah. like between like the age three and six. 
that whole generation of kids is going to be the next generation of serial killers. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. They, they lost uh, like very important time to like integrate themselves and like learn how to share and like be friendly and all this mm-hmm. stuff. And they're just, yeah. yeah. No, like the dogs, funny. you know, everybody that got dogs during COVID wasn't able to socialize their dog. And now they're having all these behavioral issues, mm. which is, you know, but you can, yeah. yeah, dogs are different. We love dogs. We can train dogs. I saw a video of like uh, somebody who had their kid during COVID and then like the the kid is starting to learn how to walk. And because they uh, like gave hand sanitizer to the kid every like every so often, the kids walking around outside and putting their hand under plants expecting them to. Oh, I thought you were going to say that they have all these like immuno. No, 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 no. no. It's just like they're so used to like when you put your hand under something you get hand sanitizer see that's so, just stupid though yeah i mean kid. kids like a year and a half or whatever yeah. but it's just one of those things where you're like that's kind of a bummer to to see that be happening you know what i feel weird when i go into a place of business and they're like they have a display and you're like oh okay might as well it's been a while and they're like it's not even full you assholes just take mm-hmm. it down e- yeah. either commit to it or don't pick a yeah lead. like mm-hmm. like the signs yep. that are still up like please wear a mask indoors i'm like that's just gonna oh, stay up forever I love the floor stickers and you're like hey losers this is still here right eh? yeah, yeah it's great yeah it's just my cool. favorite is the one that's like when you're in an elevator and it's like please stand six feet apart and like this isn't even six feet like yeah. why was this even in here to begin with yeah. Put them up everywhere. We don't know what's going on. Anything, anywhere, all at once. It's, well, yeah. that's yeah. That I think that was the the most telling thing, right? Like everybody kind of retreated, and then like you, even now, there's a huge push for people who are like, "Oh, we got to go back to the office." You're like, "No, no, no. You're the problem. You're the reason we, we don't want to go to the office." That person who's pushing that, I hate that person. Every, I think everyone hates that. I'm person. I'm pretty sure it's just being put into like like the op-eds are being put into papers by the people who have stakes in office real estate oh oh absolutely it it has to have been yeah math is important okay that's true hey it's random joey's also crazy and that's that's fine that's uh, i had him on my show last night it was great it was fun Mm -hmm. times uh no but that's that's the weird part right like there was such a huge transition like for me we binge. I oh man, like peak pandemic. I binge watched uh, Supernatural. That's fifteen seasons. Oh my of god, twenty episodes a season. The, each one forty five minutes. I blew through it in like eighteen to twenty days. I'm like, I was just day and night just watching the whole thing. My wife's like, you have a problem. I'm like, such a problem. Was it good? Uh, Oh yeah, it's a great show. It's, okay. it's very right. long and, and and tedious, but you know, supernatural and ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but, but the, there are shows like that where it's like after season six or whatever, it's not worth it anymore. Or like, yeah, I don't even mm. know what that is. Oh, it's, and my uh, pandemic experience was so different. What was yours like? <laughs> yeah. Well, because I like I said, like um, you didn't say it, but I and I kind of alluded to it. I'm a coroner, yeah. Yeah. um, so my experience during the pandemic was like, I was just insanely overworked and we were like, we were in overtime and then um, peak pandemic March uh, when it March, 2020 um, they were allowing anybody with like an expired nursing license to not reactivate it, but you could go volunteer in New York and work on it. So I volunteered out there. And then I also did some work, up there with the morgues that were beginning to overflow and we at one point had um the national guard in helping us because we were so like literally up to our neck and bodies um and then that had a snowball ripple effect that we literally only just started getting past like maybe seven months ago jesus that i was yeah we were like worked to the bone it was i don't know like that oh god like that's the the hard part with that kind of situation right where you're like it's just gonna keep coming in there's nothing you can do just keep on pumping through right but yeah well it's hard because you have people that are dying at like this exponentially exponential rate right and then you have people that are just regularly dying and then but what we did see is a huge decrease in homicide and that was really interesting because people weren't going out and like killing each other. But we did see after like a little bit after lockdown, you started seeing like this 
spike in domestic violence Mm -hmm. cases and uh, child abuse as well. And we think that it's because of like people that were like locked up at home with their kids for so long. Yeah. And, you know, finally uh, people seeing like, oh, this kid's being abused because they finally then began to go to school and like people were noticing or, (sighs) um, but yeah, like my, my pandemic experience was just like so different. I wish I could have been chilling. And what fucking sucks is I was like working my ass to the bone every single day, hoping I didn't get sick. And then my friends who are like hairdressers and, you know, waitresses are just like at home and they've got like their Venmo tips and they've got like the, um, uh, I mean, it sucked for them for a while, but they were getting, you know, like supplemental income. Yeah. And I was like, man, fuck. <laughs> Ask me yeah. what I got as my COVID bonus. Uh, people banging pots on the streets. Is that the, yeah. I, so I work for the government mm. and we didn't get our COVID bonus for working the entire pandemic until 2022, end of 2022. And we got a six inch subway meal mm. and we didn't get to pick what it was. Oh my God. <laughs> like, like a six inch sandwich. You got to choose from, I got sun chips and like a medium diet Coke. God. It's not even a foot long. Not Dude, even a foot long. Let him have a foot long. What's wrong with that? That's so messed up. And we only got that because one of our chemists upstairs was like, I'm just going to buy everybody a fucking Subway sandwich. because." Oh. Oh. See, it's it's stuff like that where you're just going, what the hell happened? Why like, am I doing this? Well, like, like, yeah. like but that's that's really a lot of people went through where you're, they're going like, wait, why am I suffering like this? You're like, oh, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. Just and, and like certain people. I think like I think a lot of people were very much uh, entitled to say fuck it and didn't. And you're like, you're being a hero for nobody. And then the reward was like, hey, I got you a six and sandwich. You're like, oh, what kind? You're like, just a generic one. That's fine. Not a premium. Just there a were normal. like two that you could choose from the Black Forest ham one and then like some other one. And I was like, man, these are both fucking gross. It's like prison food. But what can I say except you're welcome for the turkey and Have we learned Swiss. nothing from Jared? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. But that's like, that's the worst part is people were like, oh, well, you know, as a reward, you're saying going, all right, what, like 30 grand, 40 grand. They're like, Subway sandwich. You're like, we had different expectations, I think. It's yeah, see, the- at the end of the day, though, I think I don't think that we should have gotten a reward at like rewards are nice, sure. but by no means do I feel it necessary to perform the job that I signed up to do. Yeah. And every now and then, like when people do a job, like you're going to have days and months and weeks that are harder. Sure. Right. Yeah. And it's still your job. You don't I agree. get rewarded for doing extra work when you know that that's part of the territory It's just, it just so happens that this kind of like crazy thing happened. But Mm -hmm. I think it was like in comparison, everybody kind of started comparing themselves to each other. Like, I'm like, why does my friend get a reward? And I don't, and I'm doing this. And then like waitresses are like, well, we're not getting enough money because of this and this and this and this person, you know, it's just, yeah. Oh no, no, I agree with you. I think everybody uh, started acting really fucking entitled, like they deserve <laughs> something. I mean, for yeah. doing their part. For okay. most people, it's just like doing your job isn't enough to just live, like on a single income. And in, in general, that, though, it, right? it, it's literally impossible to afford an apartment in any city in the country on minimum wage, which is what it was supposed to be when it started, because True. it's not. Like they didn't keep up with it. It hasn't increased since like what two thousand and three, or something like that. Like it's it was way... already behind back then. It's fine. It was already behind back then. Yeah, it's been but... behind since like the seventies. Mm-hmm. Not... And then for the people being like fifteen dollar minimum wage, I'm like that's behind now too. It should be. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, if you to do that math, it needs to be around forty dollars uh, an hour for it to actually be because it's one income should afford a family residence, not necessarily to purchase a home, but to be able to survive and and like i always rationalize it as like you can have like one vacation not a good vacation like it might be just camping but it is a vacation technically you know something Mm. like that an outer hell depends on who you ask oh listen i pay to stay inside why am i paying more to go outside that doesn't make any sense but no but i agree especially with like inflation and everything that's happening it's just 
you're never going to get on that same level where somebody can just survive on one income and keep up with how much prices are increasing. Like when I lived in Australia, I would tell all my friends back in America, like, oh, you know, my minimum wage is like, I think my, the minimum wage was like $27 mm-hmm. and Americans would be like, oh, that's crazy. That's so good. But in retrospect, it's the exact same situation as here because when you're on like a hundred grand a year in Australia, you're still like just barely making enough yeah. to afford like mm-hmm. to live, you know? So, and you have to fight monsters on a daily basis. So like Australia, you have to fight yeah. monsters. Yeah. yeah. That's, which is like, realistically, it's like kudos, but also why, why would you do that? Like, also like, what the fuck? I would, I would totally read like a children's novel, Raven Frazier and the Funnel Web Spider, or like just insert <laughs> crazy Australian was, monster here. Good. I can't yeah. believe you knew the Funnel Web. I'm impressed. I, when I was a kid, there I had this book of like all the like most dangerous animals and like how they kill you and all stuff. In Australia. And like, what? And they're all in Australia. And they're all in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> True. We had a funnel web and I was so scared. So like, I don't know if you've heard of the huntsman spider, Yeah, but those ones are like our household daddy long legs. They're, they're harmless, but they're like this big and they're Mm -hmm. fucking everywhere. Yeah. And the funnel webs are like that big, which is still pretty scary, but they're like lethal. Interestingly enough, dogs are impervious to them. Get lost. Well, that's nice. That's you know sick. what? And also, squirrels are impervious to rattlesnake venom out here. Oh, Jesus. Well, I guess that makes sense, right? I, I think it's like an epigenetic change. Like they've just like mm-hmm. evolved to be impervious to it because they are at risk of them all the time. Like they're prey. Yeah, exactly. So like the ones that were impervious to them got to got yeah. to breed, and they still got a chance. They I love still it. got a chance. Uh, Not us though. No, no. Well, like realistically, if you get bit by a snake, you're like, well. That sucks to be you, right? I get bit by a snake. I'm going to bite it right back. I'm going to punch it in the head. I feel like that's only reasonable, like, like right? Bitch. Yeah. But I feel like that's the only conclusion. This is like, oh, it bites me. I bite it back. That's a Tie it in one. a knot. Get out of that one, snake. I just, I just remember the Archer episode where he gets bitten by a snake on the taint. And then it's like a whole thing. It's like, can we suck the venom out of your taint? No. <laughs> so, now, apparently that is actually more risky if you do it. But hey. I had a friend out here um, before I moved to Australia. It was like 2013 and he died from a rattlesnake bite. Jeez. But because he was such a fucking dumbass. So this guy, he's like just a raging alcoholic. Mm-hmm. And um, you can Respect for the dead. Yay. <laughs> His name's Billy Glide. He was a porn star and he was an alcoholic. And he had a rattlesnake in a fucking like terrarium. Oh with my a loose God. Top, and he was drunk and trying to like move the terrarium and the lid yeah. fell off and it bit him. And oh instead of going to the hospital, he just was like, I'm going to go to bed. And it took like three days. Like rattlesnake bites do not kill you quickly. Jesus. Like you have ample time to correct yeah. the situation. And he just went to bed and drank and like developed a fever. It's like, I don't feel very good. Anyways. Yeah. He died. Yeah. That's, I feel like that's, you know, the universe was like, I got this. It's just took care of it. That's, that's a, I yeah, well, you know, like at some point, it's like I had a friend who had like six snakes at home, and I'm like, you know, if one of these eats you, it's on you, right? Like, there's yeah. no. He's like, well, I got a couple of pythons. I'm like, yeah, man, that's your problem. Like, that's so nobody's gonna be like, hey, can I watch those for you? I'm like, no, absolutely not. Just, just, just absolutely. He's like, you can come over and play poker. I'm like, no. That's no, not that, good. that's worse. That yeah. like, there's more snakes. It's very confusing. Like I, I can like there's even actually a uh, reptilia where it's like uh, they have a uh, few alligators. They have some snakes and and cool stuff and and it's like a zoo type of thing, right? And it's like oh that's really wild. And people are like oh yeah, wouldn't you want to touch anything? And I'm like no, no, it's everything can murder me, and I'm a lot to move. Like I was a lot fatter back then but at the same time i'm like i don't want people to have to worry about moving me around that just seems inconvenient i just it's hard you. thank you on behalf yeah. of coroners everywhere thank you yeah, weirdly uh so my brother passed away recently and uh he was okay so to get him out of the house he was fatter than i am and i never got to rub it in his face that i had lost weight before he died and i was like damn it so close but uh he 
so they were moving him out and i was like yo he is really fat i feel bad for the it was it was two guys and a woman and the woman took the uh, bottom half and was like one person. She was like, no problem. I was like, Jesus, she's like a power lifter or something. It was very impressive. No, I, that's why. I mean, I just, I, I had neurosurgery recently. I don't know if you see this little scar, but it was actually like yeah, pretty big. It was a pretty big surgery, but it's largely because of my job. Like even me being like five foot one, if you have a body, it doesn't matter how big it is. It's just like, do it. You have to do it. You have to figure it out. I had, um, I've done an autopsy before where someone was 666 pounds. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a lot. Listen. Okay. So, uh, uh full a lot of, I was, lot of person. so, uh, during the pandemic at my peak, I was, a, I would know I was over 450 cause that's how big my scale goes. I probably Ooh, was about 500. Good for you. You must've lost so much. Yeah. So right now I'm tracking, uh, about uh, between a hundred and, uh, 90 today. I weighed in at two sixty. It's very exciting. So you lost a Lizzo. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, wow. It's Congratulations. Kinda... You literally lost a Lizzo yeah, or it's... a Rosie O'Donnell. At least a Rosie O'Donnell somewhere in that mix. Right. It's he's, yeah. he's coming for my ass too. Cause I'm two thirty and like, yeah, it's it, the best part about this has been the messages I get from other people I know that are overweight and they're like, wait, you're in shape? Oh, absolutely the fuck not. So they're like starting to hustle and I'm like, I glad I motivated you, but also like, fuck you. It's kind of, you know, maybe that's, that's my awesome, time. Though. Yeah. Congratulations. But that's that's one of the things I was like, I can't have somebody find like I always knew that I'm like, if something happens, I'm like, nobody's gonna move me. Like nobody walks around with a forklift. I'm like, that is, is so considerate of you. <laughs> I'm I have a very kidding. small wife. She's very there's yeah. I just I, imagine you you're on like you know uh, hour fifty eight of uh, intermittent fasting. And you're like this is for you. Coroners drinks water. Like, <laughs> kind of, kind of. Like honestly, it's it's one of those things where I'm just like I feel bad for people like because I've I've gotten like I've gotten shit faced at a party before and people are just like, can you just sit down? And I'm like, sure. And then they're like, ah, oh, we got to move you. I'm like, good luck with that. That's not, I'm like, I'm here until I'm sober. So good luck. Have a great night. <laughs> Just, it's not going to happen. Right. So very considerate. Uh, yeah, well, you know, Hey, it's, I feel like it. I just need to get into heaven. I mean, just one good thing for people I don't know in general that I'm not going to benefit from this, but others will, this, I'm going to be more portable in the future. Imagine um, if it was found out that you get into heaven by losing weight and then that's it. That's the only thing that gets you into heaven. I squeak through the gates and I'm like, I can just, da, 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 da. yeah. The well, Olsen twins are like, see, this is why we do it. <laughs> There's all oh. every dictator just immediately like start like, just, like burning iron and, and pumping yeah, iron. Yeah, what is it? North Korea is like, see, this is why we do this to you. Uh, uh, like, it's for your it's own. For your good. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. One apple yeah. a day. An apple a day keeps the Satan away. <laughs> That's that is that oh, might be God. that might be the title. This is That's this is not hard. a bad title. Not Raven Fraser and the Funnel Web Spider or an Apple a Day. I'll it, I'll think about it. Top or, tier. Top we'll tier. Kim Jong Un was really onto something. <laughs> he was um, a man for the people. That's you know. What's uh? He was that the real prophet. It's oh yeah. That's yeah. why he knew. Played one game of golf. Everyone struck the... eighteen. It was good. You're like oh. Makes oh sense. yeah, all, all, all the weird propaganda where it's like oh, yeah. I invented the hamburger or whatever the thing was, and like which, like honestly, I love that he didn't hesitate. He's like, the, oh, all I've mastered like... the piano while at the age of four. I wrote a sonnet. No one can ever hear it. It's too good for the human ear. You're like, that's like way to just take it to the next level, you know? Yeah. It's, if you're gonna be crazy, be all crazy. You know, go all in. Don't don't. Uh... Sugar code be like, yes, I'm a deity, and you have no idea who the powers you're messing with. Like, right, a deity. Fun. Very, very fancy sounding. Um, I had a question for you guys. What is like a property from when you were a kid that you hope never gets redone, rebooted, whatever the thing is? A property? Like a like a like a land thing? No, no, like no, structure? like movie, TV oh. show. Oh, you know 
oh, um, oh. book series, whatever the thing is. Not a good one. I've already gone on record saying that I uh, thoroughly want to punch Michael Bay and uh, Brian Singer in the face for what they've done to Transformers and X Men. That was my childhood, basically, and uh, they've torn it apart. But uh, you know, this that that ship has sailed. So there's nothing really I can do at this point. My childhood's gone, but luckily I have the comfort of Appa here, and he can just make me, you know, my six-legged flying bison. Only I'm cool. glad. I'm glad that they didn't wait 20 years before continuing with Avatar stuff. They they've just for the most part just kept it going. This entire they're trying. Time. They're trying. Yeah. It's it's look. It's the hard part is. Like, okay, I'm just realizing now that I'm surrounded by nostalgia. So, like, this is in process. Is the Skeletor's Havoc staff. I have an Optimus Prime up there. That My dog's is... name is Skeletor. Listen, it's he was he was right, okay? And I, Prince Adam was a dick. It's just, that's fair. It's reasonable. Uh, but yeah, no, so I'm... Uh, there's so much nostalgia. There's a kitty. There's... <laughs> This is why I'm at my mom's house. I'm, I'm cat sitting. This is Sophie. I would get up to grab my dog, but I'm I'm actually not wearing pants. So uh, okay. <laughs> at least you're honest. I didn't, think, I, I didn't think about that earlier when I was giving you shit. That I was like, oh, I'm actually like, not wearing pants. Whatever, it's fine. I applaud it. Listen, now that I'm uh, uh, not livestock size, I'm like, I walk around without pants all the time. And I was oh, like, yeah. looking good. And I'm like, yes, I am. This is fantastic. I get the, the whole, you know, it's, yeah, it makes sense. Business up top, oh, listen, party man. down below. It's it's about good times, right? It's only fair. It's only fair. But I think I, okay, so I have, I'm trying to think of things I don't want to be redone. Mm. Everything's already been redone. Like where the wild things are, that should have never been redone. I never and saw it. But was, it was it was it horrible? Like, it's awesome. It's not. People Red are stupid movie, though. Should never be redone. Rocco's Modern Life should never be redone. Correct. That is all. Great. Real monsters yeah. should never be redone. <laughs> Didn't they do that though? They did it for like Rugrats, and I thought they were doing it for no Rugrats. But... Yeah. Well, grass. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, yeah. like, because I know they they did the the weird like claymation looking animation for i think it was uh paramount plus for rugrats i could very easily see them doing that you remember wallace and gromit sure yeah, yeah. oh so good they... or you know what i would be okay with them bringing back celebrity death match oh, oh definitely oh, though. Yeah. That's, that, bring, <laughs> that brings people joy though right like realistically watching that is you're like that's that's what i'm here for and right? if that got even better that would be better too because it was good back then but you're always like man this could be a little bit more gory it, absolutely listen that's i feel like you got to mix it in with like full mortal Kombat finish him moves and like really sell it i feel like that's the technology we need people that's that's the that's what ai should be working what for, on what i know <laughs> yeah just yeah, violence among celebrities. That's what AI should be structuring. It's not about they shouldn't be painting. No, 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 no. They should be doing that. Uh, that would be kind of interesting. Like, okay, so celebrities they are uh, like assessed before celebrity deathmatch takes place. They put in their skill set like yeah. a custom character in a video game, and then AI and, yeah, like does pick. a simulation of it. Who like, who would be the NPC? Who would be the non playable character? Of who's like doing the like of celebrity doing... death match? Like, who would be like the last character that you'd pick for your celebrity death match? Uh, that's a good question. At first, what I was thinking that? like Gordon Ramsay, and he's just all knives, just <laughs> you know. And so, well, no, but no, but that's, that's like a shit, good. But... That's like a good choice. You want somebody? Is, yeah. like somebody who wouldn't be good at this. Like, who's the uh, most like useless? Celebrity? I think. I think Adele by now. Like, if you did 2009 Adele, yeah, she'd be awesome. But like 2023 Adele has become so consumed by great. Something about losing all that weight has made her not be a person of the people anymore. She would be terrible for celebrity death. Match. Listen, man, as a in process retiring fatso, trust yeah. me, as you lose weight, you start to hate fat people. You guys, you guys are fucking assholes. Like, <laughs> and, and also, fucking... if you're Lizzo and you are fat, you hate people. I hate, hate you. Well, apparently, she hates the yeah. fuck out of people. Like, <laughs> and she really likes bananas for whatever reason. Well, but, uh... <laughs> or a good show. Yeah. You know, one of the two. That's whatever fine. the thing is. She'll be entertained whether you like it or not. That's how that You works. know who the most used to? Britney Spears. 
Her she celebrity just, she's, she's been through a lot. <laughs> yeah. I feel or, so bad for that woman. She is like yeah, she, not a human being. Like she, I, it's, she went through a lot, this, I think. It's not that, but she's not a real person at this point. Like she's not real. So it, if Britney Spears didn't have the money and the house, if you took her exactly as she is all right. and set her on skid row, you wouldn't think yeah. twice. You'd be like, yep. True. That's yeah. that's you know, yeah. looks right. Looks sounds about right. You know, she's um absolutely. That that that's the weird part is you're like how I I like I feel like that's a book worth like well not reading but watching watching somebody read that book where you're just like what kind of happened where they're like you know what she doesn't need to be educated and like real world experiences no 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 just 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 make her entertain people you're like that's that's now I'm thinking of like a story like a Prince and the Pauper type deal right where she like switches places with someone on on skid row and then you know hijinks and sue um, that would be so funny can you imagine the skid row person that as a show that would be fucking hilarious like the the doppelgangers of skid row i feel like that's yeah. a real yeah that's a good yeah one. like yeah. if you found your mm-hmm. crackhead twin Mm-hmm. And then you got to switch lives, and I think it would be good for for teaching celebrities how to share. That would be, you know, like like that nice. show Wife Swap, yeah, like a real life lesson kind of thing. Life Swap. Yeah. I feel like that should, that should be how Chappelle's show should come back. Yeah. They do a life swap, the doppelgangers of Skid Row, and they just yeah. do that to teach celebrities how good they actually have it. Yeah, sorry, I just Billy, we, throw billionaires in there too, because like, oh, it seemed, yeah, yeah. B- billionaires didn't read Rainbow Fish as a kid, and now oh, they you know just, what? Yeah. Speaking of billionaires and celebrity deathmatch, how bummed are we all that Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg are not fighting? I'm just how weird was that to begin with, and that they had proposed the Coliseum. I know, the, the, like this gave, is the age only that, that though. They gave us fisticuffs, blue balls for like three weeks, and then. <laughs> There's another episode title. And, and Mark Zuckerberg is uh, like, because he didn't take it seriously. Yeah. Nobody Which, did. Look, look, people aren't excited to watch because they're like, I, I love Elon or I love my. We wanted to watch them fight because we hate both of them and we want them to beat the shit out of each other. Yes. Right? Let them fight. Speaking uh-huh. of doppelgangers, uh, I recent I've been trying to add uh, content to TikTok because it while it feels creepy, it seems like it's an easy way to get uh, following. So mm-hmm. uh, I recently did one about which Simpson character you are. And I'm like, I am a fancy Homer. I'm like, Jesus. That's, oh, man, you totally are. I God am. Damn. I'm like a the Homer that lives on the sea kind of thing. Like, I definitely mm-hmm. give those vibes off. Homer on the sea. Yeah, Wait, yeah just, Atlas, you're Homer? giving Flanders vibes. <laughs> I've, I've gotten that before. The, like, if, if you turn me up like two degrees, you get actual Flanders. Do you like make really fancy milkshakes with s'mores on top? And... No, although I, I remember that from the movie and I'm like, I really want that. So Raven, like, he also gives off syndrome vibes, like uh, hardcore. Just so you just... You still okay. have that? So I don't know what that is. But when you said syndrome vibes, I was like, "That's not nice." No, no, no. I have. Have you ever seen The Incredibles? No. Really? Oh, wow. Oh that, shit. Okay. He's this the is the villain, character. and it's it's actually yeah. Atlas. It's yeah. Atlas looks like. And that, and that particular picture was uh, back when I worked in an eye, at an eye doctor's office. They were training the new techs to like for dilation. So like, come here, we're doing this to you. So that like yeah. put the picture back up. It. It, so like one pupil is like super blown out compared to the other oh my um, god yeah. you're right yeah so it, it was just the kind of thing where i'm like okay i'm wearing sunglasses for the rest of the day until mm. the the thing wears off um it was hilarious though I'll one it is giving syndrome yeah, well, <laughs> i also, highly recommend that movie by the way it's a good movie he, he uh, has pictures of where he just has a mustache for halloween and i'm like mm-hmm. super ned flanders like hard ned flanders Maybe the Ned Flanders that runs people over, but still Ned yeah. Flanders. I, I dressed up as a Teddy Roosevelt for Halloween in 2019. Yeah. Um, which actually, Ned Flanders is not a bad idea. Ooh. Listen, Dude, it's realistic. Yeah. Right? You have to have a mod. Uh, I mean, there's there my go. fiance, Katie. Uh, she there you go. Be uh, she could be mod. I don't know. She's not really much of a Simpsons fan, though. I wonder how much. How, how into that well, listen, she would be. Marriage is about yeah. giving and taking. Sometimes she's last year we were two halves of an Oreo. This year, like I'm floating Cosmo and Wanda from the Fairly Odd Parents, but so I want to tell you the idea that I came up for Dennis and I for Halloween, for but it. I also don't want you to, steal to ruin it. it. I want you to I'm steal it. Not gonna steal it. steal it. 
How about, how about you got, have like a, 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 or here, a, a few years you can't do it. You have to wait like three yeah. years before you use it. How about that? Or, or I'll mute speed. myself while you, while you say it to Dino and then. No, I'll tell you. Okay. All right. Do you watch It's Always Sunny? Yeah. I want to be Nightman. And he'll be yeah. the Dayman? Or the oh. Troll. Or the Troll. Oh. No. <laughs> That's he really good. The with, the, with, with the makeup oh. and the. And that, that I love that idea. You guys should totally do that. Yeah, yeah. I um, would want to be Nightman so bad. Katie hates it's always sunny, so you're safe. We're never gonna do like a couple's costume on that. Whatever. It's just it's just not a like thing. Katie needs to start stop hating and start loving things. That's you know, come she on. likes Shit's Creek. Uh yeah, Shit's Creek is show. good. Yeah. I like that show. Yeah. Um, oh here, here's a show that I don't want adapted ever again, and that's Rocket Power. Did you ever watch Rocket oh, Power? Oh, yeah. I was, I was like, not a big Rocket Power person, but I did watch it. That was so of its time. So, like, late 90s, early 2000s that, like, you can't do the, like, skateboarding kids. and. You know what I saw that they were day. bringing back? I what? saw a casting call for it. It was, um, God, can't even remember it now. It was, like, it was the kids, and you'd be on a panel, and you'd have to go through the, the obstacle course, the... Uh, like Wipeout or well, no, there's, close. Takashi's Pla- there's Takashi's Castle is already back, but uh, I remember like, it was a, like a castle thing. I remember Flora's Lava coming back. I remember it's a castle thing. Well, was, Takashi's Castle is the one yeah. that they're like the original kind of Wipeout type game, but it was well, it was the one where they like slime you. Okay, you can't do that on television. Yeah, oh, I love that show. <laughs> I mean, that was a great show, but that nah, was, I heard that. Yeah, that, that was that show was traumatic. That's for it was, sure. That was a good show. But yeah. where? But they didn't have like it wasn't a competition necessarily, was that? Yeah. There was something else like that though. Yeah. Look it up. See, like that's the thing. Is why aren't like okay? Double dare. Double, Double dare. dare. Oh, that is a good idea. Uh, I don't. I don't know how well that's gonna. You know? It's. I feel like it's hard to to bring back stuff like that, though, right? Because you can have the same competition and everything, but you just don't get the same vibe. And also, too, people aren't as brutal as they used to be, right? That's and, true. And, yeah. And like when when like oh, everything's you, way too PC to be fun. Well, that's for sure. But also, I feel like there's the exposure of it all, where it's like if you were, let's say, you got slimed on, you can't do that on television, right? Unless you watched it or it was a rerun. It's gone, right? Nobody's gonna be like, "Oh, you were that guy," right? Whereas now, it's like, "You're this guy." It's on my phone. I have yeah. it as my background. Right? I actually have a friend. Hold on, I gotta see what it is because I actually remember now. He's my friend, and he was on one of those shows as a kid. Um, one of my one of my coworkers, uh, Raven. I I got into teaching recently, so I'm an English teacher, and um. The, one of my coworkers was saying, "Like, so let's get a jump on Halloween." I'm thinking all the teachers dress up as characters from Three's Company. Do you think the kids would get that? I'm the youngest teacher, and I was like, "Okay." You're like, they no. don't even know what Seinfeld is. Don't. That's not even. No. A, that's not even yeah. a good set of costumes. It's just like, right? oh, we're gonna dress like we're in the '70s. That's it. Yeah, it's like four. It's like four people. There's way too many characters for that. Part of me wants to 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 pitch. Wait, like The Simpsons. Like, there's so many people from The Simpsons that you could dress and, up as. Well, unless you yeah. have a bunch of fat teachers, then they're going to have like nine comic book guys, which is fine. It's, it's just there's no, no, no. Sideshow Bob would be cool. Mo yeah. would be cool. Yeah, but Winters. you know what? Whoever <laughs> whoever gets nailed as Mo is not going to be happy about it because be like you could be Mo, and they're like, "Wait, am I the ugly person?" You're like, "Oh, I don't. Th- I don't think she wanted like to assign people specific costumes. I think it was just like this show picks." Let's, let's be honest. It's a Teachers stupid are... idea, though. What Three's Company? Yes, it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so it was called Guts. Guts. And he's my friend, okay, and he goes. Okay. I conquered the aggro crag from Nickelodeon's guts. There were a lot of shows like that, though, that had that insane stuff, which 
it was it just the was it like the 90s and the t- early 2000s yeah like 90s just, yeah and that's and like, like stick stickly i remember stick stickly i love stick stickly on nickelodeon he's the popsicle stick dude you know what i have to be what i i have to be the teacher from the key and peel sketch the Oh, hey, hey, Ron! Yeah, <laughs> I have that shirt somewhere <laughs> in like five X, which is now like I have literally an entire closet full of funny shirts that I'm like, oh, I can't oh man, I'll these. never get to wear these again unless like, I get well, really like, sad, they, but... uh, yeah, I they don't fit anymore. But which is like, hey, oh, yeah, it's weird. But that's listen, a a Ron is uh hilarious. That's yeah. that <laughs> you done messed up, a a Ron. Google if I even know what you guys are talking about, a. Aaron? Well, so oh. it, it, it's a it's, sketch on Key and Peele where it's a substitute teacher and he's mispronouncing all the names where it's like D nice. Okay. Yeah. It, like, it, it's the, the and... way it's the substitute teacher from Key and Peele. If there's about uh two or three sketches that they did, and mm-hmm. the way names are mispronounced is um mm, culturally sensitive, let's say. And hilarious all at the same time. Yeah. And it's very enjoyable. Because... Have you watched uh, Tim Robinson? I Tim think you should leave. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, I have no. Yeah. Is, is it? Okay, We're all so... trying to find the guy who did this. <laughs> so good. So... The first time I steal my decals. The crooner. Yeah, it's so good. You have to watch it. So I keep on seeing it on, because uh, on Netflix, right? And you I'm have not, to watch and it. I'm like, you I was, have to. I'm great. tempted, but the thing is, my I don't think my wife is uh she's asian she doesn't get some things and i'm just like I'm that's asian. fine right yeah but she's like really like we're what right now we're watching so uh, am i i just don't look it yeah that's part of it so the but we're watching uh everything everywhere all at once and it's like half of the mom the things the mom says you're like that's fucking mean that's mean to say to your family and she's like it's just asian and i'm like i know but like Jesus oh, Christ. It's did crazy. I did I tell you what happened uh, a couple of weeks ago? So I uh Raven, I, I sent out my wedding invitations and one of the Weird, one I of didn't the, get one. Well, sorry. <laughs> um, but uh I got one. one. <laughs> okay, don't god damn it. Okay. What so one of my one of my friends from college, he's uh he's Asian. And his mom, like he, he lives in an apartment like under his parents, where it's like two separate <laughs> units, or like a as a good son would, yeah, yeah. But but they have the same mailbox, so the mom. That's not how that works. But go on. <laughs> the the mom got to his mail first, and then opened the invitation, and was just apparently making fun of Katie, like. <laughs> Just like yeah. okay, yeah. she can never see this. It's a good thing she doesn't listen to this show. Yeah. But it was like, dude, fuck better. you, lady. Like, oh yeah, no, it, fuck you. Listen, it's it's one of those things. Like, okay, the the highest praise you can get from uh, an Asian person for a dessert is, oh, not so sweet. And you're like, that's it's dessert. It's supposed to be sweet. Why is that the compliment? It's very confusing. It's very confusing. And especially like I used to make a joke, like it's still true, but it's a lot less believable now. I'm like, there's no one in this household that I can't wear as a backpack. They're all like this big. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 I like, haven't heard you make that joke in a long time. Well, I'm no longer classified as a land manatee, so it's it's weird. Like I'm still six two and built like a linebacker, but it's you know, it doesn't carry the same gravitas. It, people just assume that I'm in a house full of little people. You're not the linebacker by default. Because like, well, I'm also not the Kool-Aid man by default, but I can still, oh yeah, anytime. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just, it's, and now I can run away. It's very weird. It's a very weird time in my life. That's, now I can get away. Yeah, well, I can fit this ball back. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> not turning purple. I'm just, yeah, yeah that's, that's, when you've been bitten by a funnel web spider, luckily <laughs> Raven Frazier can handle them. Yeah, and Alice will suck the venom out of your tank. Your tank. <laughs> No, I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> There's been question. like a, a weird trend on like uh on Reddit for all these TV shows. They've been doing like an alphabet game where every letter has to start with a quote that starts with that letter, and they're like, "All right, here's A. Everybody comment A, vote on A, and then like, all right, a day later, here's B, etc." And like, I'm so sick of it because like it's the same dude posting. 26 times over 
the course of like a month and it's like just get me out of here um it is what it is yeah the age of tiktok it's it's so like honestly i get on there and i'm like i feel dirty this is this this is why i post a tiktok and then leave again i don't like like I feel like that's the only safe way for your mental health is be like, yeah, I'll just post it and then I just walk away and just gonna, you know. Yeah, see, I'm like, I always think like, yeah, I can be a social media person and I like make a post and then like months go by, I'm like, I really can't do this again. And then, you know, I made a TikTok and I was like, I'm gonna post like cool, like forensic medical advice videos. And I did it two times. Mm -hmm. They both did really well. Nice. And I just, I think that was like seven months ago. And I, <laughs> it's, 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 see, now you do yeah. it again and everyone's like, she's back. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. I just can't. Like, I just have such a like low bandwidth for mm. social media. Like I'm not a scroller. Mm. I, I do have social media. I'm almost never on it. Mm-hmm. Um, except if it's for the club, I'm like on that all the time. Yeah. yeah. So, that, so, so that's the thing you, you just like focus on the club and that's fine like i focus on the club's social media because unfortunately we're in this age where like a business doesn't exist if you don't have that and i communicate with every single person that like rolls through the club or that wants to and if i wasn't the club was completely unheard of until i started doing that and now it's like i'm just stuck in that role yeah that's that that it's a weird time right like that's because yeah it and there are a lot of places that uh uh don't have a website but they'll just have social media you're like you just get everything from there there's nothing and you're just like i get it that makes complete sense but at the same time you're kind of going like god i'm old and then people are like oh we don't have menus you just scan a thing and i'm like i swear to god i know i will kill everyone in this place and i'm like i just can't yeah yeah no i i I recently learned how to use a qr code this whole time I never knew. I'm like, what do you do with that? I didn't know that it was like your your camera. Yeah. I and Apple Pay or something. Oh. learned that recently too. This is why I use Android. But like I was Ew. I get I see what they're getting at with QR code menus where like, oh, it means you can change like menu options for specials or whatever. Well, you're using less resources too. Yeah. Like you don't have to print the paper with the laminate or like whatever the thing is. Okay. But then like motherfucker, my phone is this big. Give me, you know, give me like an actual menu, you know? It, look, but that's, see, this is the thing is you're like, Hey, if we do this, you're going to use less resources. It's cost efficient. These are all good things. Great. But it, there's no commitment for anyone else to do the same thing. Right. Mm-hmm. It's the same. And realistically, we just to tie it back to our subject. It's like, listen, just because nostalgia, like you look back and you're like, Oh, it made me feel so good. And someone's like, I'm going to redo it. You're like, are you gonna no. fuck it up? And they're like, "Yes, I am." And you're like, "God damn it!" You're like, "It doesn't make you feel good again, right?" Mm-hmm. It's, it's just one just go back and watch it. it like it still exists. Yeah, well, like, listen, I've watched the 1986 Transformers movie multiple times because I'm just like, it yeah. brings a tear to my Optimus Prime. It's, it's very me, emotional. All the original Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the Thirteenth, mm-hmm. absolutely, they're the best. That's where it's at. You know, the new stuff. You're going, ah, get the fuck out of here. What is that That's CGI? Why... Eat shit. Yeah. Once I'm okay. they get to the point where they start integrating like aliens into everything, and so I'm like, you've gone too far. You've gone. Like too everything's got to be a universe, this and that. I'm like, just oh, that's, like listen. I rewatched. Uh, there's a new Jeepers Creepers, and I was like, oh, ridiculous. Just honestly, the third one was bad enough. This, I'm just like, you guys have just lost your shit. And they're like, there's an omen. You're like, God, just fuck off. I don't. Know. You're all crazy. That's like that's why I liked like the the ninja turtles movie made it seem like it was its own like it's not good those characters but they just kind of did their own thing with it i wish that they did they have like a setup for the sequel at the end i'm like maybe just don't don't do that that would have been cool if you just did it and then left well that's the other problem is if, it, if something is successful you're like well you have to make a sequel and you're like mm, you don't you're mm-hmm. like listen we got three extra matrices we needed one we just needed one something good it's just and the first one the first one, I was like, listen, as he's talking on the phone, the last section, I'm like, well, he can fly. He should be able to fly. And then he flies away. I'm like, ha ha, I won the movie. It's perfect. And then you're like, oh, we're going to make a second one. I'm like, he can fly already. What are you going to do now? And they're like, well, he'll fly really fast. And you're like, that's, 
not i want to see it but at the same time i don't understand why we're doing this cool. what's so funny is that like a lot of tv shows recently have been good about knowing when to quit where they're mm. like we're, we're doing three seasons and then the story's over we're done bye like yeah they that's still a thing but movies they're just like until yeah. it just runs itself out of gas well, listen, it's, it goes back to the whole idea that there are so many people that are growing up with the name Khaleesi that hadn't finished the series. And I'm like, ah, honestly, one of my favorite bits to do on stage. It's, it's just brings I've never me even so much seen joy. one episode. Listen, the, the first couple seasons, why? Like Game of Thrones, right? Yeah. Yeah. Never. It's the never. first few yeah. seasons, you're like, great medieval dragons, people doing crazy shit. I love it. And then you're kind of going, yeah, this is getting a little crazy. And then yeah, at the end, you're like, ah, this just sucks shit. And you're like, great. All right. Yeah, it's fine. Right. It's wonderful. Well, it's a great experience. To, to that, we say, uh, don't boot, uh, reboot stuff just because you you want to. It's not, not really do, needed. Do something original. Make it yes. your own. Start yes. your own story. And that's how you get flea bagged. Anyway, uh, so um, Raven, thanks for coming on the show with us. Thanks for having me on. Raven and the Funnel Spider. Where can people find you and follow you and all that good stuff? I'm I'm not a social media person. Okay, maybe follow, maybe tell them about Deaf Noodles. Yeah, yeah. You for, can follow yeah. the club's page, which is Deaf Noodles Comedy Club. Awesome. At right. wait, right? At Deaf Noodles. Yes. At Deaf Noodles Comedy Club. And that's D-E-F, not D-E-A-F. Yeah, not like the, uh, I think we uh, know that Raven is a uh, cool person, not gonna spell it with the proper spelling. I'm sort of oh, loser. Come God, on, that was so messed up. Um, all right, I uh, uh, Dino, where, where can they find you? Right here, Dino the Genetic Marvel. If you're not willing to type it in and Google it, go fuck yourself. That's fair. <laughs> you can find me at Atlas Novak on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, you can follow my YouTube channel, The Epileptic Comic. Uh, or you can check out my other podcast at Nexus at Nights, wherever you get podcasts. That's about a trading card game called Vanguard. If you don't care about that, that's completely understandable. Sorry, sorry. You were, yes, you were, you were indeed too late. We um, were early. That's we, yeah, we, 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 uh, recorded this early, but that's okay. So thanks everybody for listening. Uh, hope you stay safe from the hurricane or were safe from the hurricane because it's coming out later. And, uh, bye everyone. Storm.